most people might not know me here. Um, I'm the beer mile world record holder. Um, also a very serious track athlete, but that's how most people know me from. Um, and then I'm just trying to stamp my name in the 1500s. So. Got, got an opportunity to get in this meet and uh, really looking forward to, to proving my spot, I guess, in this race. Uh, past couple years I've done 800 meters. Uh, this is my first year really focusing on the 15. So just looking forward to trying to get as close as I can to the Olympic standard and then hopefully make a push for the next games. So what kind of ambitions do you have? Like, do you have a target where you, know, you want to finish position-wise? You want to beat certain people? Is it a time? Like, what's kind of motivating you on, on Friday? Uh, well, I looked at the start list. I think there's like, there's going to be like 11 or 12 Kenyans in the race. Um, so my high school coach actually texted me and said like, for every Kenyan you beat, you get like, one's like uh, a full course meal, the other one's like dessert, the other one's like um, some sort of like beverage. So um, <laughs> we joked around with that, but honestly, goal is just to like get in the race, uh, ride that train of guys and then try and pick off as many as I can in the, the home stretch. You've got a twin brother as well, he's a massive sports fan, can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so I have a twin brother, 12 minutes apart, uh, and we actually grew up watching the Golden Leagues before it was the Diamond Leagues, uh, so it was always a goal of mine to to make this meet, I mean, watching them we always said like, geez, these guys are like crazy fast, it's next level, uh, Olympic world champion, so to be included in a race like that would be incredible, and now to actually be here, it's like, it's, it's next level, so. I'm very excited. I know he's excited. He's going to be home watching it, so uh, looking forward to making a show for him. And have you had any messages from other athletes you know back at home? Yeah, so actually, um, Melissa Bishop, she was fourth at the Olympics in the 800. Uh, we trained together back home, have the same coach, and uh, <laughs> she'd sent me like a four-page text uh, of just things to focus on as I'm traveling, um, a bit of advice about Diamond Leagues, and then just staying calm, knowing I belong here, and then uh, she sent me a few tips of things to work on the race. Can you share any of those with us? Or are uh, they private? <laughs> the most key thing is just run fast, have fun.